Hello and welcome to this updated tutorial on doing lip sync quickly and easily and accurately inside of Cartoon Animator using the automatic features and the sprites together. And a big thanks to Gary Shank for helping me to find something that I'd missed, which I'll point out a bit later on. Okay, so if I want to animate this character um, and I want to add lip sync to him, I select this button over here. Okay, so when I click on that button, it opens up the script editor, which is going to add some sort of lip sync to the character. And I, and I can use the text to speak option. I can import a WAV or an MP3 file, custom script, or I can record my own voice. So I'm just going to record my own voice and make sure that I choose the appropriate microphone on my system, which is that particular one there. And then all you need to do is click record and then you can record whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do something very simple. Thanks, Brian. That's uh, that's really helpful. Now, what's that you've got for me? Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. I'll check it out later. Okay, so I've pushed stop. I've recorded that. Not exactly the uh, the height of acting, but it's something. And I'm going to click OK. Thanks, Brian. That's uh, that's really helpful. Now, what's that you've got for me? Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. I'll check it out later. Okay, so we can see that that's finished at frame 295. So I'm going to click this button here and I'm going to change it to 295. Five. Okay, so that's my timeline sorted out. I can open that up and I can see it goes to 295. So that's the whole animation. Go back to the beginning. And I now want to see what I've created because as you probably saw in the playback, it wasn't that accurate. It was okay, pretty good, but it's not, not as good as I would perhaps like it. So to change those visemes, and those are the mouth shapes. Okay, so phonemes are the sounds you actually make as you create words. Visemes are the appropriate mouth shapes to go with the phonemes, with the sounds. You look inside of the face tab, and then you have to open up the voice clip. And there's two things inside the voice clip. There is actually the audio file, and there are the visemes, which is under the lips category. Okay, so you can see that as I pull that through, there's a bit of mouth movement before he actually starts. Okay, so. I'm okay with the thanks, but I, I really want just a, a closed mouth to start off with. I don't want this first one more. The beautiful thing about this is that they're completely editable. So I can select that one and hit delete. Uh, I can look at that one. I do want that one. So I can put that one at the beginning, move it around. Do I need those two? Don't just select them and hit delete. And then I can look at this one. Thanks. So I might want to actually get rid of that one as well. Thanks. So that should be a r, really. So what you need to do is double click. When you do, it brings up the lips editor. And when you bring up the lips editor, then you can change. So I want a really, really, so an R there. And what, uh, really? So I don't want to go with that. I want to go with. I'll go with an O. I think that's probably the closest I'm going to get to what I want. Probably that mouse shape there. That's really helpful. Now, helpful. Now, helpful. Now, that should be N. So you can see, you can just basically go through. I'm not going to spend a long time doing this, but you can basically go through and change the appropriate shapes that you want. Now, what's that you've got for me? Wow. So I don't need that there. But this is what I wanted to change. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to make this full so you can see all of it. So there it is. Wow. So all of that is a wow. Wow. Now I want to use not the lips editor, but I want to use sprites to change that. So I can get rid of that and all on the same layer. Thanks, Gary. I can click on that and I can go to face. I can go to mouth. Uh, let's find mouth, which is there. And now I can do my wow. So let's say I want to go, uh, let's move it to one side so I can actually see it. Let's put it over this side maybe. So. So w now when you do that, because of the order priority, you'll see that all the visemes stop because of the render order. So basically all software has a render order, which it renders one thing before another before another. And the priority render is always going to be sprites over visemes. So when I put add a single sprite, all of the visemes seem to be 
unavailable to me. But if I go, let's uh, do a couple more. Wow. Oh. So that's my. Wow. That's a, that's a, okay, that's my. Wow. That's a, but I now want to carry on going back to my visemes, and this is what Gary pointed out to me, which is something I had missed, although I looked for it and looked for it, uh, eventually he pointed out the release button. The release button says, stop making this the priority. And as soon as I click release, you'll see that that line has disappeared, so that now from this point onwards, I'm back to visemes. Okay, so the advantage of this is that once you've actually created your sprites and you've used your sprites wow. we can actually wow. modify those and we can distort them whereas you cannot distort visemes visemes will stay as it is but these can be edited and they're edited by the face key editor okay so the face key editor by default looks like that so the gizmo is over the mouth which is basically very difficult for me because i want to work on the mouth so i'm going to turn off the gizmo which I'll, I'll turn back on later when I want to do more animation, but I'll turn that off for now. Go to deform and make sure I choose the mouth. So there is the mouth. Okay, so I'm now ready to actually do some deforming on the mouth, but I want to be able to see the mouth deform. Now, if you don't see mouth deform, I do actually happen to have mouth deform up. But if you don't see it and it doesn't always come up, click reset sprite where you want to start and that will bring up the mouth D, mouth deform layer, so you can actually see what you're going to be doing. So I know that when I go to that point, I want it to be as big as possible. So I'm going to draw over those two points. Oh, see if I can get them both. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I can make that one. Okay, I'm going to have to pull them one by one. I can make it a really big mouth. Wow. I might actually deform the face as well as I'm doing this. Then and reset back to normal. So I'll get this. Wow. Wow. Okay, so what I've done is I've wow. used visemes and I can edit those. I'll shut this down now. So I can edit the visemes by double clicking where it says lips and changing all of those. Then when I want to have something ex exceptionally you know, exaggerated, I can come to that point, use sprites by using the sprite editor and add the sprites wow. in, release the sprites at the end, so I go back to the visemes and then go back to the beginning of the sprites and open up the face key editor. And then I can reset the sprite to see the mouth deform track, do any deformation that I really want to do. Okay. And then it, as soon as it finishes the sprites, it's going to go back because I had released the sprites before back to the visemes. Okay. So that's how you can actually do it. But the thing that's really important here is, is bear in mind, and I'm just going to show you where you find it again. So you find them inside of face, voice clip, lips. That's where all of the um, visemes are going to be available to you. And as I showed you before, you can select as many as you like, and you can delete them. I'll just delete them, for example. And then you can double click and bring up the lips editor and add any of the ones that you want in going through. And, you know, I'm just doing any old for reference here. Um, you see, you can add in whatever you want. Okay, so that's just showing you a very quick way, and it does make lip syncing very quick because you're using the automatic functions, you're using exaggeration when you need to, and then you're just moving straight on. And one of the things I have to say, again, thanks to Gary for helping to point out about the release, that the other thing is about Cartoon Animator. It is a piece of software that is just packed with little hidden features. It looks relatively simple when you open it but when you actually get into it it is such a detailed deep piece of software and really fun to work with so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial i say it's an update on the previous one uh, if you've got any queries or any comments please let me know thanks for watching